Okay, so today we're going to practice adding multiple digit numbers. So those are numbers with more than one digit. And today's example we're going to start with is 74 plus 15. So the first thing that we need to do is to stack the numbers on top of each other. We have 74 plus 15. Okay, draw a line on the bottom there. So we're going to start <coughs> always on the right column. These are columns, okay? Columns go up and down. So 4 plus 5 ones gives us nine ones and seven plus one ten gives us eight tens. So our answer is 89. Easy breezy, right? All right, let's try another one. Okay, this example is 13 plus 28. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is stack them on top of each other. But remember, you always put the largest number on top. So 28 is bigger than 13. So I'm putting it first, and then we're adding 13. Okay, 8 plus 3 is 11. So now I'm going to have to carry. I can't put the um, tens place in the bottom here because it's going to be in the way of uh, our next answer, the 2 plus 1. We can't put the 1 here because it would be in the way, so we're going to bring it to the top. Okay? So now we have 1 plus 2 plus 1, which is 4. So when you add 28 and 13 together, you get 41. Okay, now it's going to be your turn to practice on your own. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute to figure this one out by yourself. You should be writing this down in your math journal. The question is 56 plus 11 equals what? Okay, hopefully you've had enough time to figure that out. If not, hit pause until you're finished. All right, let's try another one. This time our numbers are 108 and 27 that we're adding up. Make sure that you are lining up your numbers perfectly in the right place place value column. Okay. 8 plus 7 is 15. So I'm going to put the 5 here. I can't put the 1 here. It will be in the way, so I'm going to put it at the top. So now I have 1, 10, plus 0 tens plus two tenths. So I have three tenths. All right, and then this one, well, there's nothing here. So I can either 
put a zero here and do zero plus one or I can just drop that one straight down. So our answer is 135. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so this one is 58 plus 368. First step is going to be to stack them on top of each other, making sure we have our place values lined up correctly. So one way I can do that is I can add a zero in front of this 58 to make sure I have three digits and three digits that I'm adding up. And remember, I want to put the larger number on top. So 368 plus 58. Okay. So we are going to start on the right always and work our way to the left. We have 8 plus 8, or 8 times 2. Okay, that's 16. I'm going to put the 6 here, but I cannot put the 1 here. I have to put the 1 on top. So now I'm adding 1, 6, and 5 tens. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. Uh-oh, I'm having to do the same thing as last time. I'm having to carry one so I don't put the answer in the way here on the bottom. So now I have this 100 plus 300 plus 0. 1 plus 3 plus 0 is 4. So our answer is 426. Okay, now it's your turn to try on your own. Okay, hopefully that was enough time for you to figure this out. If not, go ahead and hit pause until you are caught up. Okay, this example is 905 plus 135. So 9, 100, 0, 10, 5, 1, and 135. Don't forget to put your addition symbol so you remember what you're supposed to be doing. All right, so 5 plus 5 is 10. 0 goes here because I have 0 ones and I have 1 10. I'm going to put the 1 on top. Now I have 1 plus 0 plus 3, which is 4. Okay, and then 9 plus 1 is 10. And this time, I can put my 1 on the bottom because I, I'm not in the way of anything else that's going to be happening. Okay, So our answer, 905 plus 135 is 1,040.